whoops oh don't you hate when that happens it's always something always something anyway hi again uh Roz here from new old finds and i'm a brand ambassador with redesign with prima let's try this again so sorry i tried to block something and i hit the finish button <laughs> by accident so i apologize when you come on say hi and uh, let me know that you're here and um, so we have a cool project today and um, it's going to be, so basically it can be um, just, you can either use it for like decorating in your house or you can use it as like a, um, a door hanger. So um, I know like, so this is the one that I made. Um, hi, Marshall. Okay, good. Thanks. Uh, so this one is for the Hello Spring. So this you can use and it's reversible. So on the other side, I don't know if you've ever seen these on, on um, Etsy or Pinterest. These are really hot. Everybody's doing them. They're putting bows and flowers and stuff. But of course, we're going to redesign it instead. But you can still add a bow and everything too. And you can obviously add a bow and everything on this side too. So these really are really cool. They're, they're really uh, good and thick. Um, they are from the dollar, not the, well, the, the dollar spot at Target. And, um, they're really, they're really nice because they're like white on one side already and then brown on the other side and they come in a circle and they come in a square and they're a good size. Like that's a good size. Um, hi, Sharla. Thanks for joining. So today we're going to do this and we're going to decorate this side as well and then decorate this side as well so the letters are ones I cut out on my Cricut uh, super easy to do it's just like doing a transfer so if you guys don't have a Cricut yet you need to get a Cricut they're so much fun okay so I have this one already prepped and ready to go here's my black so I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is I just eyeballed it um, I put, uh, tape and then painted and sealed. The first time I did it on this side, hi Crystal, on this side it pulled up the paint because I didn't seal it first. So this time I sealed it. So hopefully that's going to help. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was just cause it's like a, it's a wood texture. And so it pulled up little pieces, which is fine. I just went and, can you tell? No. I just went and uh, touched it up, so no biggie. All right, so I'm just gonna show you. You just peel your paint off. I mean, peel your tape off, not your paint, duh. Okay. And now we're ready for our letter, our uh, word hello there, which I have here all ready to go. Hello, Denise. Thanks for joining. All right, so I'm going to uh, point you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start with the Hello Spring because I want to do one on each side so you guys can see. So one has the Hello, one is plain. So the plain one is going to be this. So I'm going to show you guys how to do both. So this will then be reversible and you can use and do whatever, you know, kind of design you want. You could do one for Christmas, one for summer, you know, and then have it for your, your thing. Oh, you should. I mean, they're so fun. Once you get like the hang of it, you, you'll, you'll want to like do stuff with it all the time. Really, I promise. All right, I'm going to point you guys down. Do, 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 do. I may move you over a bit too, just so you can see better. Let's see. All right. I've been careful where I put my tripod or it will fall over. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. So I don't have the light on because I found it was giving me a really bad glare. Uh, thank you, Stacy. I know. I just realized that. I I did a Kristen. <laughs> All 
All right, I think that's good. I think so. I can always um, scoot down this way a bit more. Yeah, there, that's good. Okay, cool. All right. So I have my, uh, my Hello Spring ready to go. And so I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. It's so similar to doing transfers. It's really so much fun. Um, basically, you, you print them out, you take off the, the top part, and then you add your sticky over top. And when you peel your sticky off your backing sheet, your letters and stuff come with the sticky sheet. See, the same idea as a transfer. Cool, right? I'm in no way affiliated with Cricut, just letting you know. Okay, so now you're just gonna, you can obviously, you know, uh, <laughs> thanks Kristen. <laughs> you can um, mark it off, you know, if you wanna be absolutely perfect. I'm okay with it if I'm, if I'm a little bit crooked, I, you know, that's just kinda how I roll. Oh wait, I wanna do spring first so I can fit hello in there. That's right. That's what I did last time. I had to remember that. Hold on. Let me do let me do this one. All right. So again, I'm just going to peel it back. Make sure all my letters and everything are stuck onto my sheet. So cool. Okay. And I'm going to let me see this one. I want to basically mimic what I did here on this one. So I think I went pretty low, didn't I? Of course, there's a hair in there, but that's good. Whatever. And then I'm going to kind of eyeball it between those two um, holes up there where um, where the, the thread goes for the, the hanger. Okay. That's good. And I know it, it looks weird. I normally, I could use a, a transfer tool or whatever, but I'm going to use the little scissors because they're very round and soft. They don't have any hard edge and it, it helps to protect the, the wood. It doesn't, you know, put grooves in it because it's soft. But you can get these. Um, you can get these at the tall, the the Target dollar spot, or you can get them um, online at Target. And I mean, there's like, you know, Hobby Lobby has something similar, and um, um. Uh, Amazon has something similar. Boy, let's try this way. Sometimes they don't want to stick as well. The, this, um, the backing, this sticker is so sticky. So it, once it's like attached itself to something, it's not always easy to get off. Which you want because you want it to obviously stick to your surface so that your, your letters stick as well. But I mean, I have to really put like, I have to use my muscles. Did I really get that hair underneath the letter? Really? I did. Okay, I got it out. <laughs> okay, done that one. All right, so now I'm going to fit hello right up here. And I got this, um, I don't know if you guys, if you have a Cricut and you use a Cricut, I found the, this gold, which is like a matte gold. It's not shiny, so it's really pretty. 
And I found it for a buck at um, Walmart, of all places. I was quite delighted. Okay, I think that looks good. That looks good. That will work. And just like you would a transfer, you got to burnish it on. And get your edges. Okay. All right, let's try and see if we can get that off. Super sticky. That one came a little bit better. All right. So cute, right? There's the start. All right. So now I'm going to use the um, watercolor bloom. And basically just place the flowers around. I will probably cut a bunch and place them around so that it looks like that. All right, let's see what we got. What do we have that we can use? Do, 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 do. That little bunch might work well. I do like this bunch here. I'll have to use that maybe. But let's see. Let's see what's on these sheets that I've already cut. Stop. I think this is the one I used last time. I think this one is too big, but I do like these little itty bitty ones. I might use those. So I'll scoot that over there. All right, let's see. Did I use that one or did I use a different one? I think I used a different one. All right, well, let's try. I think that cuts off too much of the flower on that side. What about this one over here? See, I can see the letters through. It is a beautiful transfer. I really like it. It's very happy, very spring-like, and um, it has beautiful colors, and they're very soft and watercolory. Let's see. So that could fit there, and then I could place in those ones after. How much do I lose on that one? I think that should work. I think it should work. I can always put the other one down on the bottom. Okay, cut that one out. Let's get this guy. Okay, scoop those over there. Okay, now I could um, just go over like this or I could trace it on the back, but I wanna make sure that I'm getting, um, like I need to cut out some of these leaves. So this leaf here won't, won't work, so I'm gonna have to cut that out which is perfectly fine. I can use it, like fill it back in after, or I can use it on something else. And the same thing with this leaf here. Don't ever throw your scraps away. Always keep your scraps. Have like a box just for scraps because you just never know when you're going to need scraps. All right, I think I can fill that in right there quite nicely. So I need to 
I'm going to undo this um, twine here just so I get a nice clean uh, flat surface. Okay, there we go. And then I think I'm just going to put it down. Do I want to try and save that? No, I'm just going to put it down. I don't think there's enough of that flower to really be worried about it. Okay, can you guys see? To make sure you're seeing. Well, thank you. This would be a great class too if you guys have, um, if you have a retail store and you're a retailer. All right, and I'm just gonna place it down so that it is around my H. Okay, and then I can take my, where's my other scissors here? I can take my scissors and just go along the edge of my board here and cut that extra off. All right, and then where's my sticky stick? You can use a stick or you can use a transfer tool, which reminds me that I have a giveaway going on right now for Life in Bloom and a transfer tool. Over on my Instagram, I forgot to put the link for that. Oops, I will do it after. Or you can search me at New Old Finds. That might work. Okay, and then just take your stick or your tool and go over your transfer. Doop, 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 boop, doop, doop. Okay. And then peel back your sheet. If you've missed anything, put your sheet back down and using your stick, apply again. And voila! Boom, so fast. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then go over it and make sure you have no air bubbles or anything else. Okay, and fold over your extra little bit there. Look how cute so far. So now I can take those other uh, leaves that I cut off and I can just start filling them in where I would like. But I'm going to see if I can't not add something else there as well. Maybe add this over. Here, maybe he's, maybe he's over there. I don't know. I'll see. I don't know what to do yet. Okay. All right. So and there's my other leaf, which I will fill in somewhere. And let's see. Oh yeah, I have this, and that I think I can have going up here. I think that will be beautiful's. Or I can go this way. No, I like this way. So that will go up that way. So then I need something that has that orange, pinky orange, like here. Down there. So let me see. Let me see what I have that would... No, not that. That's too big. Blue. See, I got this guy. This guy, this guy, this guy. I could use that. I feel like it wants to go that direction, though. Let me see if I have enough room for that. See, I don't really have enough room to get that in there. Now, I could cut those off. At that. Hmm. I guess I could do that. Thanks, guys. 
Thanks for sharing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. We're going to do this one. And, oh, look at these cute little guys here. They don't need to be here. We can take those off there. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take this off. Yes or no? I don't know. I know I want to take that off. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take this off because I feel, ooh, I feel like it's um, a little uh, going the wrong direction. But it's very easy. You just cut around and then there you go. And you can use that for something else in the future. And these are the wrong scissors. Why am I using these? That's okay. Take that over there. I'm gonna need the other scissors. I don't want to use those. Those are my cricket scissors. Okay, so let's see. Those can stay, but this one needs to come off because I really want to use that. Or the blue. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I think that looks good like that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Wow, there's really like a lag. Do you guys see a lag or is that just me? I wonder why. I don't know. I don't know why there's a lag. That works much better. The Cricut scissors are not meant to cut this. Okay. Cut that off. And again, I can use that on something else later on. There is a small lag, isn't there? That was really strange. Well, hopefully it will stop. Because we don't like lag. Nope, we don't. Okay, I think that's going to work. Then I get some pink in there. I get some green in there. I get the, and then I can do the other pink up there. Okay. So let me cut this guy off because I'm going to need it for something else later. And I do not need it for this. Okay. See all these wonderful scraps I'm getting. This is fabulous. Fabulous. I tell you fabulous. Um, this one does not, not look right here, so I'm going to take it off. This is the fun of doing placement. Placement is, is very, it is, right, Leanne? Thank you. I thought so. Placement is always a fun thing to figure out. Okay, I think that's going to be good. Let's go for it. We're just gonna do it. I think it would be a really good class too. All right, that should work right there. Okay. So now I will go and chop, chop. 